السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ شبہات کا ازالہ پیج کو سبسکرائب کریں اور بیل آئیکن دبائیں سب سے پہلے ویڈیو دیکھنے کے لیے بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوینٹی تھرڈ مارچ ٹو تھاؤزنڈ اردو ٹرانسلیشن آف پاکستان میواتس ریکنسائلمنٹس ایجنڈا تھرو ٹاکس نیئر ریسپانسبل ٹرانسلیشن آف اردو پوئٹری ڈونٹ لوز دس ہاف بروکن بوٹ ایز یو ہیو لاسٹ آل یو ووڈ ہیو ہیڈ سیو دا لیفٹ اوور پیس ایز یو ہیو لاسٹ ایون یور بروکن ہارٹ فار ریکنسائلمنٹ بٹوین ایلڈرس آف تبلیغی جماعت مولانا محمد سعد کاندالوی دامت برکاتا ہوں اینڈ مولانا محمد ابراہیم دیولا دامت برکاتا ہوں اینڈ برنگنگ ہارمنی اینڈ یونٹی امنگ دا ورکرز میوات اینڈ ادر lovers of Tablighi Jamaat had started a chain of mashwaras in the name of reconciliation jurors in different localities. Mewat understand that some elders belong to Super Shura in Merkaz Ravan are responsible for the present situation of house division and disharmony and disunity among the workers also. It's worldly essential to explain why in current scenario the word Mewat is being specified. It's very simple to understand as Mewat is a selection of Allah exalted for this sacred work. They initiated this work under the guidance of Hazrat Ji first Maulana Muhammad Ilyas Kandalvi Rahmatullahi Alayh. Tablighi Jamaat gave fruitful results in arising the Ummah and all the schools of thoughts were getting united on Tablighi Jamaat's platform. In the meantime, unfortunately, they happened to see a clash of thoughts between Maulana Muhammad Saad Kandalvi Damat Barkatahu and مولانا محمد ابراہیم دیولا دامت برکات ہوز گروپس That resulted into a house division. Now there is a worldwide division in the Tablighi Jamaat. Our forefathers had sacrificed a lot for the promulgation and prevalence of this work. Hazrat Ji, second Maulana Muhammad Yusuf Kandalvi Rahmatullahi Alayh came to Pakistan. A few years after Pakistan came into existence, he demanded Mewatis to devote their lives in path of Allah. 17 Mewati elders stood up and presented their entire lives. At this occasion, Miyaji Abdullah Mewati Rahmatullahi Alayh was one of them who stood up and announced to present his life and the land for Raven Merkaz. A Hazrat Ji used to attend Ishtimaz. Now we have been deprived of this opportunity in Mewat whenever they came to Pakistan. Hazrat Ji Maulana Muhammad Yusuf Rahmatullahi Alayh did his first Mewat Ishtima in village Bagair Singh Kasur, Punjab. Because of this relativeness, Mewati's first Mufahmati reconciliation jor was done here in this village. Bagair Singh on 23rd March 2019. Before this an introductory sitting was also arranged in village Kamaha Lahore during this jor Hazrat Ji second rahmatullahi alayh expressed his desire and asked Mia Ji Abdullah Mewati rahmatullahi alayh to devote his land that he had already spared for Raven Merkaz saying Allah has accepted your land Mia Ji Abdullah Mewati rahmatullahi alayh vouchsafed and devoted the land in the beginning since the time they had been facing all hurdles up till now Mewat neither demanded anything nor opposed the Merkaz Raven's policies throughout they occurred so many circumstances when downtrodden mewat must have taken steps but they had done nothing for the cause of harmony and betterment of this work it's all because mewat is always being specialized in wafa bila khilaf that means they always follow the elders of tablighi and never disobeyed or opposed them no one can present a minor example of even making comments against them because the masses are not supposed to do so by mewat's elders regardless of being members of shura or having administrative role in driven markers and the matters how mewat had been badly suffering from discrimination after molana inamul hasan rahmatullahi alayhi's period mewat never uttered a word against this all but always preferred independency of this all sincerity and the pleasure of allah exalted in 2015 in spite of molana mohammad saad kanalvi damat barkata who was disrespected by self imposed super duper shuras man mohammad rafi who has been expelled from markaz twice but still he is an active part of super group even whose presence in markaz raven is questionable a follower can't put up with insulting his fabricated neck peer but votary mewat did so when their peer was humiliated and instead of interceding between the groups the raven appeared to play a role as a party and invited molana ibrahim deola damat barkata hu and molana ahmed lard damat barkata hu in annual ijtema 2018 and jor 2019 mewat always respected and treated them as their elders super duper group imposed its decision of making three amirs one after another the first one is hazrat molana nazrul rahman damat barkata hu who is acceptable and highly honorable for us in disguise of a false big quest the way in which this all was made to be done was too weird besides this all markaz raven is not only a tablighi markaz but we feel it like home also we make our tashkil from raven markaz and its branch markaz 
Our Maqami work in local mosques is being done under the guidance of these markers. In all the localities of Mewat, we are performing weekly mashwaras by making Faisal turn by turn every week. Doesn't it all enough as incontrovertible argument to prove that we are rival followers? But now in the current situation of our house division, we as the founders of Tablighi Jamaat and Markers Raven, we never claimed like that. Can't pause with rest and never also anyone to disperse and divide a Jamaat and will make all possible positive and healthy efforts for making the groups united and bringing harmony and love among all the workers. Mewat has been presented its credential and stands through submitting letters and by now had made many appointments with Raivan's elders and requested and whip before them. What are the credentials and what steps has been positively taken by Mewat are briefly being presented as below. First, Merkaz Raivan has been working as a branch of Merkaz Nizamuddin since its beginning and under the guidance of Nizamuddin. Now it should be explained why Raivan Merkaz has opted to deviate from its origin. Second, our elders from Nizamuddin have always been attending ijtimas and jors held in Pakistan. Now it must be clarified that no one is being invited from there. Why? How painful it was that we were told that Maulana Muhammad Saad Kandalvi Damat Barakatan who didn't come even after being invited. The most surprising is that the respected elders who had left Nizamuddin are still being invited and these are elders are participating here in Pakistan. Even after the clash between the elders from both sides, Raven Merkaz instead of playing its key role of mediation or reconcilement and bringing harmony and unity played its role as a concern or a straightforward part of the game standing firmly by those who had left Nizamuddin. Third, it was very reasonable demand from Marcus Raven that the gatherings for negotiation or talks should be tried so that the possible reconciliation scenario could be created. This demand was also done by Pakhtun Khawanin and other lovers of Jamaat. And after continuing the talks, either no one from the both sides should be invited in congregation, ishtimas and jors unless they get united or both of them be invited. Fourth, after continuous efforts of Mewat and other sources, Marcus Raven was agreed that the Marcus Nizamuddin should be invited for talks and an invitation was moved by Marcus Raven. As a reply, Maulana Muhammad Saad Gandalvi Damat Barkata who wrote a letter on February 10th, 2019. Maulana Muhammad Saad Gandalvi Damat Barkata who wrote to send a Jamaat for talks in Raven and requested for sponsorship and make some arrangements for their visas. In this concern, when there was no proceedings to see, Mewat demanded the Marcus Raven for further proceedings. Fifth, recognizing the stance, reservations and credentials of Mewat, it was acknowledged as a party for the reconciliation process by Pakistan Shura. After mutual agreement, Mewat and Pakistan Shura made two contact groups from both sides for having further talks. One contact Jamaat of eight members from Mewat and other Jamaat of five members from Markaz Raven were agreed upon. After discussions between both the contact Jamaats, formation of a Jamaat of three members from Shobai Khutut for making arrangements for visas of Jamaat about to come from Nizamuddin was resulted. Sixth, 99% of the Pakistan Shura Marcus Raven gave full support to Mewat's point of view and the so far steps taken. But unfortunately, the super duper group intervened against the above mentioned decisions and prevented those three members from any proceedings. The super Shura dictatorship sabotaged the process of negotiation and reconciliation and instead of inviting Nizamuddin's Jamaat, invited Maulana Ibrahim Deola Damat Barkatahu, Maulana Ahmad Lad Damat Barkatahu, totally against the decisions of Pakistan Shura 2011. Seventh, after this all Mewat's anger and frustration was natural but it was decided that Mewat could never allow any worst situation to be happened as in Bangladesh Ijtima. With great patience and struggle, all the workers were gathered on a peaceful stance. Eighth, despite all the efforts of Mewat, the people of Mewat were not even allowed to meet with Maulana Ibrahim Deola Damat Barkatahu, Maulana Ahmad Lad Damat Barkatahu and others. The Mewat's contact Jamaat through some means contacted them, settled a meeting and served them with special Mewati dinner. In this meeting, Mewat expressed their grievance in the context of contemporary conditions that resulted in a very positive response. The unfair interference of Super Shura's dictatorship had put Mewat's people to take steps to commence scheduled reconciliation jours in different localities throughout Pakistan for the sake of strong and effective presentation of their stance. 
nearest possible translation of Urdu poetry. We were a massive bluff when stayed and laid our lives when moved on. We made our beloved way memorable on each and every step. Keeping the unfair resistance and interruption of Super Shura in view, it is being clarified that only Maulana Nazrul Rahman Damat Barkatahu as Amir and Pakistan Shura 2011 would only be acceptable. The love for the family of Maulana Muhammad Ilyas Kandalvi Rahmatullahi Alayh is natural. Our beloved Maulana Muhammad Saad Kandalvi Damat Barkatahu deserves for Amarat firstly. Because he is the only alive member of Shura nominated by Maulana Inamul Hassan Rahmatullahi Alayh. Secondly, because the entire Ummah could be gathered merely on him due to his family's favor and sacrifices for Ummah. And thirdly, because the Super Fitna did plant Shurayat house division without consulting the actual Shura, Pakistan Shura 2011. Mewat's efforts for reconcilement along with following the Marcus Raiwan should never be meant that Marcus Nizamuddin won't be followed here. This is a struggle for our stance by adopting a positive gesture so that there should be no doubt left behind. It must be realized that the founders Mewat committed an allegiance to Maulana Muhammad Ilyas Kandalvi Rahmatullahi Alayh's family and the founder of Tablighi Markaz Raiwan Miyaji Abdullah Mewati Rahmatullahi Alayh accepted the mere centralization of Nizamuddin from the very first day as narrated about the Miyaji Abdullah Mewati Rahmatullahi Alayh devoted his land for Markaz Raiwan only because of the love and respect of this family when Maulana Muhammad Yusuf Kandalvi Damat Barkatahu ordered him to do so. From the very first day, Markaz Raiwan had been a branch of Markaz Nizamuddin and Markaz Nizamuddin had been a center of it. Hence, it must be known very consciously that the deviation from this Tablighi Jamaat's and work's origin would never be acceptable at any cost and Hazrat Ji Maulana Muhammad Saad Kandalvi Damat Barkatahu is our spiritual guide and Amir so this holy family could never be allowed to be neglected and our home Marcus Raven would never be allowed any further to be a part of any conspiracy and house division. For this purpose, the chain of above mentioned move of reconciliation jores has been initiated all over the Mewat and inside and outside the country as well. Points under highlighted words are explained as below. Point number zero, an unofficial group of Baniyas Manid, nearly all of them not being in Pakistan Shura, most of them were expelled from Raven Markers and had been involved in unexpected activities. This is the naval plot to destroy Tablighi Jamaat. It was designed and planted by some moneyed kind of people who become figureheaded and marionate in the hand of some orientalist and enemies of Islam. Point number one. It is very important to mention that Mewat's reconciliation program has no concern with the different thoughts or conflicts, whatever it is, between the elders from both sides. They are highly respected for Mewat. Point number two, it was really very funny when the super shura that imposed shurayat, that is house division, a newly generated sect in Tablighi Jamaat, on the whole world's Tablighi announced three consecutive Amirs one after another. In funeral ceremony of Haji Abdul Wahab Rahmatullahi Alayh, Maulana Muhammad Fahim interrupted and snatched microphone from Maulana Tariq Jamil who was delivering a bayan and then Maulana Ahmad Badla did the same with Maulana Muhammad Fahim and announced the self-made gag and fake bequest. According to this gag, Maulana Nazrul Rahman Damat Barkatahu was selected as Amir. He is most respectful and acceptable for Mewat. Maulana Ahmad Batla narrated this gag that once Haji Abdul Wahab Rahmatullahi Alayh, many years before his death, has set to write down his highly secret bequest and ordered to keep it confidential and disclose after his death. It becomes very funny when Maulana Ahmad Batla, who also snatched the microphone and announced his Amarat also, as he himself is one of those three Amirs. Point number three, Mewat's contact Jamaat Bhai Muhammad Riyaz, grandson of Miyaji Abdullah Mewati Rahmatullahi Alayh, Maulana Muhammad Ilyas, Maulana Muhammad Sharif, Maulana Muhammad Hanif, Bhai Deen Muhammad, Bhai Abdul Ghafoor, Bhai Deen Muhammad Hadiyara, Bhai Muhammad Imran. Point number four, there happened a riot and murder in Bangladesh's global ijtima. Point number five, Super Shura had tried to change Maulana Nazrul Rahman Damat Barkatahu in March 2019 because Maulana has expressed his fair stance regarding these negotiations and Nizamuddin. Point number six, some brothers get confused by Maulana Tariq Jamil's bayan regarding the formation of Global Shura, that's Alami Shura. They should be known that Maulana Tariq Jamil wasn't member of Pakistan Shura Marcus Raven. With due respect, Mewat demands him to explain his capacity to talk about this issue and to record a video bayan on social media regarding Global Shura. Mufahamati Jamaat Mewat Pakistan. 
रिटन बाय अबुल हसन राजी मोहम्मद अमीन ताहिर